we're still reeling from repercussions of uh, what we were talking about, of what happened in Butte, you know, mm -hmm. the Berkeley pit and all the dis destruction of um, disturbing uh, uh, the earth and all those sediments coming down the Clark Fork all the way down into Idaho and to Lake Pond Ray and farther down there. Those were like settling ponds all the way down there. That's why it's taken <clears throat> so many generations and so many um, hundreds of years um, um, to, um, you know, just like the, the, the project that they're working on now to, to rectify that problem. You know, the, the thing that I see is that, sure, they're uncovering all this stuff and then they're bringing it back up to the same place it washed down, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it washed down that, that uh, the Clark Fork uh, River, you know. Uh, and uh, and uh, nature pretty much takes care of itself, you know. In, in any, any problem that happens with nature, it, Eventually, it'll take care of itself in time. Um, things will settle back down. But every time human beings start digging things up, it doesn't matter where in the world, whether it's a mine in Brazil or whether it's a, a deforestation, you know, it affects the whole climate and the whole world. So, so every um, thing like that that happens, it, it affects the a lot of people don't understand about the natural law of things the way that they're supposed to be. It's uh, that's why it's so important to teach children in classrooms how important it is to keep care of the earth and to to help you know to whenever you go camping or or hunting or or, or go use the landscape. To try to leave it as best as possible or better than uh, when you arrived, you know. That's why it's really important to keep that natural law on, on track. <clears throat>